This is textbook definition for how to guard Steph Curry. Look at Deuce McBride staying on Curry like a glove. Watch how close he is right here, all up in his grill. And as the screen comes, McBride fights over and forces the turnover. Then, watch the chase here all over the perimeter. As Steph gets the ball, we got the suffocating defense, the great help by the others, and they force another turnover. Now, notice how much energy is exuded here on this possession. Deuce picks him up full court, then escapes the screen by GP and the subsequent rescreen here at the top, forcing Curry to give it up. This is great defense, but McBride knows it's not over as another pick is set, and he chases him down to not allow this shot. Good help by Brunson here, Curry bounces it to Peyton and ultimately this leads to a bucket for Golden State, but this is still a great defense on Steph and doesn't allow him to get into a rhythm. Then check out the absolute chaos that the Knicks cause on this play. Deuce is way up on Curry here, gets over the screen and the big man stays in front just enough to allow McBride to come back on the chase. And then this is just a bunch of pit bulls attacking, which of course ends badly for Golden State. Speaking of getting into a rhythm, of course it'd be tough for Steph when you got a guy constantly on you, chasing you, bumping you and contesting every shot as closely as this. Yes, I know that Steph can make these shots, but at the same time, I know that it sure isn't his preference to have to shoot them like this, especially after fighting extremely hard to even get to the ball and to the shot. Then just look at how much things happen here on this possession. We got the high screen and Hartenstein is up high to contest a potential shot. In the meantime, as Deuce is fighting over the screen, he also sneakily grabs Draymond to slow him down on the potential roll to the basket. So as the roll is not there, Curry gives it up and sprints back over there, but McBride is right behind him, so as we stop it right here, you see that he is all over Steph. This is as tough of a contest as it gets, and of course, it ends up being a miss. According to NBA's tracking data, Deuce McBride guarded Steph Curry for 51 possessions, and in that time, Curry went only 4 for 13, with 2 turnovers and 1 assist. This is as good of a job as you can do on him as a defender. Steph still got his raw numbers, scoring 27 points, but it was inefficient, and you saw how it disrupted the flow of the offense for Golden State, which ultimately resulted in a win for New York. The Knicks have been absolutely clamping down on their opponents for the past 10 games, leading the league in defense in that time span. With that, they've climbed up to 7th in defense this season overall, and they're locking in at the right time, just before the playoffs. With all the injuries, this has been the only way that the Knicks have been able to survive, but they will absolutely need the rest of the guys to come back for a deeper playoff push. And speaking of that, the Mavs are really locking in right now, with the latest win being this insane lefty shot by Kyrie. This however wasn't a lucky shot for Irving, in fact it came natural for him and he explains exactly why that is. You gotta check out this video right here. Talk to you in the next one, peace out.